Hi, in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to pass data from WSO2 ESP to WSO2 DAS D DAS is data and it's server so let's start the ESP uh, I'll start the here I have gone to the ESP 9.0 folder and I have I'm starting the ESP now the ESP has been started and you can see that the ESP is located in port 9443 we can uh, log into the console We have to now start the uh, DS or server as well. But the DS server is also located in port 9443. There will be a conflict. So to start both DAS and to start both DAS and ESP together we have to change the port number of DAS that go to WSO to test folder I have the 3.00 version and go to repository and uh, conf and find this carbon.xml file open this file using an editor and you can find the offset value here if you increment the offset value by one the port number will change from 9443 to 9444 so I will change it to one and save it now I will start the ESP dash server as well I have I I should change the permission of the WSO2 server. Once I have done that I can start the server. Now you can see that the server has started in the port 9444. You can log into the console using a private window or using a using the same window but you will have to keep logging in so I will start it in a private window now to pass data from the ESB to the DAS I want you to we, we should be we should first create an event sync in the ESP go to configure in the ESP uh, console and go to event sync click on add event sync give the event sync a name sample event sync or something And you should know your IP address. You can see you can find your IP address like this. Your IP address will be uh, 10.25. You can your ISP address will be this. I got it from the management console URL. Then in the this receiver URL. You type like this tcp slash slash your IP address and your trip port. Find your trip port, 
go to where come or terminal where you have started the dash and you can find your trip port here it is seven my one is seven six one two and it might be different for you then put a colon and type seven six one two and authenticator you will will start like SSL slash colon slash slash and the IP address your IP address and you can find your SSL port here it is seven seven one two okay seven seven one two once I have uh, created an event scene I will click save I can refresh the page to find my event sync here. You can see your event sync have been has been created. Now to create a proxy and let's create a proxy and pass data to our event sync. I will create a custom proxy service. give it a name sample proxy or something and I click next I will create an in sequence to my proxy I will add a child it will be a publish event you should add a publish event to publish data from the ESP to uh, to the to the dash here publish event at a publish event give it a name sample stream I will gi give it a version and you ha it, it, you can select your event sync then let's add a payload attribute there are four types of attributes let's add a, a payload attribute I will get, give it a attribute na name and I will give it a value of uh, maybe my name and I will update the publish event I will save and close I will click next and then finish once I have done that once I have seen my proxy is deployed I will run my sample proxy service using the try tool I will send the proxy service and you can see you can go to your days and go to streams and you will see that your sample stream has been received in the site in the days okay now to okay, persist the data in the days I will first persist the stream to do that I will edit the stream you can see this event stream was automatically created when we run the proxy service I will click on next persist event and I will click on persist event stream I will click on this also and I will click save event stream once I have saved the event stream I should add a event receiver I will add an event receiver I will give it a name sample receiver or something and you should select this as an WSOT event 
ok and there is only one event stream select your event stream and keep it as wso2 event press on press the event receiver ok event, event receiver would have been successfully added now we can explore the uh, data received using the data explorer now I will go to the right and run the proxy again we can come back here and go to data explorer and we can select one table that is the same for stream that's the only available table and click search now you can see that my the name that we sent as a payload attribute is persisted here in the next tutorial let's see how to persist the data we sent from the from the ESB to a database thank you very much for watching the video